So today I am building stuff. Of course I am because we build stuff. Today I have been I've been here for a couple hours after work working on this thing. My goal is to get this done in the next week or so. This is my latest arcade build. It is running off an Odroid XU4. I have a 32 inch screen in this system and I still have a lot of little parts to build. A lot of these are actually just drying with paint, but it's here. The system I'm running is Recall Box and it's got a just a base Odroid XU4 image and I've added some ROMs myself. Tonight I am just testing it out. I'm probably going to put this on a tripod a bit and show you. Uh, I got some paint to do for this one. I was going to put artwork on here, but I think I'm just going to leave it at this nice cherry red. It looks pretty sweet as it is like this. So I'm going to put this on the tripod, answer any questions if you guys have anything to say, or you can watch this later. So let me just hook that up. There we are. I'm going to put some stuff back together here. Just to give you an idea of the way it's going to look. I'm going to be doing a black and red theme. My buttons are going to be white and black. I'll just pop these in so it looks cool. If you're watching from around the world, I'd love to hear from where you're from. I'm located near beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm still waiting for snow. It's December and I want to go play in the mountains. These buttons and the joystick I'm going to be using, these are just from eBay. I think they're pretty much just San Juan clones. The buttons though itself uh, are a bit more half silent, I think they're called. I'm not an expert on that kind of stuff. If you know, say something. So this cabinet, here, I'll put a game on here in the background. Let's do, I got the phone, I'll show you guys some stuff. So I just put an N N64 on. So these buttons are actually really nice. I'm pretty happy with the way that these are um, compared to the LED ones. I don't like those at all. These just feel nice. This screen looks so good. Uh, I paid $150 for this screen, just a really cheap one at uh, one of my local big box stores called Visions. Picked up majority of it online or Amazon. I got that on Amazon. Got those on eBay. Screen at the store. What other fun stuff do we have here in the shop? Um, one of the big things that I've challenged myself with this project is to only use hand tools. Now by that I mean I can hold it in my hand. I can hold that in my hand. What else do I have here that I can hold in my hand? Do, do, do. Let's come on over to my little tool stuff here. I don't know if I even have them in here. So I used a jigsaw for a lot of this. Let's go to my office quickly. Do, 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 do. In my office, I should have a skill saw that I used for a lot of this. Yeah, there we go. I've got a skill saw and to, get my, to keep my cut straight, I use this awesome AccuCut jig from Craig. That was a great purchase. Thankfully, my wife needed a project built, so I was able to go buy some tools. Oh, yeah, here's my other, my other little skill saw, a little battery powered. This thing has been invaluable just for cutting stuff. Um, so, yeah, I my challenge for this project was not to use a table saw or a band saw. Um, I used a router. I have my router somewhere under here. Here we go. Got a router in a box here. I used a couple, a couple bits to get this whole thing done. Ta-da! So what do we have on here right now? I think it's a chamfer bit. I've used a slot cutter. That's for my T-molding. And then somewhere else in here, here we go. I used this. This is a trim bit. So. I was able to make a template out of MDF. Let's go to the other side of the shot. Make a template out of MDF 
flies. Um, I was originally going to use this with the trim bit to actually router other parts into the design, but that just didn't work. Um, I didn't spend enough time perfecting the template, but to get my edges and stuff literally traced onto my other piece, this thing worked fantastic. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of other MDF here for future projects. I run an arcade club and I teach people how to make these. By people, I mean teenagers, the future of the world. So hopefully I can do a good job and teach them some cool stuff. So that's going to get me probably three bar top arcades for my students. Um, for lumber, they pay about $25 and everything else they have to get themselves. So if you've seen my videos, you wonder, how do I build cool stuff? It's because I'm a shop teacher. I have access to a fantastic place to work and hopefully hand my skills off and teach students. What else do we got here? Dun, 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 dun. So I haven't, don't worry about this wire stuff. I literally just plug this in for the sake of this video. There's going to be a back on here for storage or just for, it can be empty. It doesn't really matter. Let's go on over here. Should we test this out, play some games? Maybe, I might only stay for a couple more minutes. All right, let me just pop this up onto the tripod. Uh, since I don't have anything really wired up, the joysticks and stuff, I'm just gonna be using a nice 360 controller. I've had this thing for probably close to 12 years now. I think I bought this back in university so that I could play games on my laptop when I was supposed to be uh, learning. Now that I'm a teacher, <laughs> well, I, I get it why they were a little upset with that. All right, let's play some games. Start. Who are we going to be? Clearly, Conquer. I do prefer the Conquer in uh, Bad Fur Day, but that's all right. All right, let's go uh, on an adventure. I've never played this game. Well, I haven't played this version. What name should I be? Ah! That works for me. All right, we're going to crank the volume up on this a little bit. We'll see how it works. It's strange. Some games will be cropped to their original, and some will actually be stretched. Let's see how the emulation on this one turns out. I haven't tested all games. I'll try to only leave games on that I think are good quality and will run. Yeah. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think of these things. I am working on two more edits for a bar top video I said I was going to edit months ago. That one's almost done, and this one will also get. Um, a video to go along with it as well as, as well as other plans. You get all that from my website. It's all free. I don't charge anything. All I want to do is give my knowledge away and hope that people like what they see. All right. This one's not running quite as nice as some of the other games. It's a little bit more pixelated than I like. Here's our semi-racist sounding. Oh boy. So he's not racist if he was originally that color, I guess. All right, let's go. Let's go play a simple level. I'm gonna see if I can somehow change the scaling on this one. Oh, I need a balloon, don't I? I have not played this game in probably 15 years. Probably longer, there we go. Joystick keeps falling. Hold that in there with another thing. All right, let's go. I much prefer Mario Kart, but this is still a pretty fun game. Oh, I can drift. Excellent. So, anybody who's watching, did you sub because of that arcade video I posted a couple years ago? Probably not from anything else that I've done. Um, I have a lot of fun building these. The problem is they're pretty expensive to build. Um, I keep building them. I've probably built about 12 of these things. This is my first full-size arcade. Again, it's out of three quarter inch MDF. A lot of people are gonna complain and say I need to use plywood. I could use plywood. But I'm not going to use plywood. I've already started building this one. I should probably pay attention to my drive here. And shoot. You get a boost if you drift. 
Nope. Never been a fan of the Brontosaurus. All right, that's cool. Let's go for another little demo in the shop. All right, picking that up. So this was, what have I got on here? I think I've got a whole bunch of systems. I can still add more games. So Neo Geo, NES, no idea. You got Doom on here, PlayStation 1, the Mega Drive. Uh, might have a couple games on there. Super Nintendo, one of my all-time favorites. As a kid that growing up, that was, you know, you want to go to the kid's house who had one of those. I never did. Um, and I try to narrow down my favorites here. Oops. That's not it. I'm having trouble controlling this. There we go. Do, 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 do. Can you add PS, Nintendo, or Xbox games? No. I don't have any idea how to do this one. This one's not using a Raspberry Pi. It's using an Odroid XU4. And whoever just asked me about Fortnite, where's Fortnite? Hopefully it'll never come close to this thing. Um, I get Fortnite is fun. My kid likes to dance and stuff, and it drives me ridiculous. Just drives me crazy. Do I have Fortnite installed on my computer at home? Yes, I do. All right, back to this. Let's play some games here. Can I see comments? Sorry, reconnected there. All right, external source, uh, somebody said. Mine, I have mine set up on just coming out of this 128 gig micro SD, but you can also run everything off a USB stick. I'd probably move to that if I would, you know, would be constantly adding games. Once I have everything added on here, I'm probably not gonna touch it that much. Let's come on over. Yeah, I'm having fun with this thing. You can also uh, wirelessly hook up to it. I haven't done that yet. And then I can access everything from my computer as long as a router is hooked up. Is that a tube TV in there? Heck no, because that's expensive. Actually, no, they're basically free, but they're super heavy. I designed this one specifically so it can fit through a door. It is two feet, basically. And width is around, I'm going to say, probably about 32 inches. When I build these things, I build using both metric and imperial back and forth. Don't ask me why I don't stick to one, because I don't know. I just like building that way. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? Type them up there. Hopefully I can see them. This is my first time trying a live video, so I have no idea if I'm actually being entertaining or not. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Fortnite. Do anybody see Fortnite? I don't see Fortnite. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm kidding. Everybody should get to play what they want. Let's try a game and see how quickly I lose at it. Anybody pick one? Type it out. Yell it out. Let me hear something. You want to see me uh, lose at Street Fighter? I don't really win this one very much. Oh, man, this video is making me look bald. NASA lost a Mars orbiter because they used metric and imperial. Well, thank goodness this thing is not going to space. Ice hockey? Oh, like NES and NES ice hockey would be the way to go. Okay. I remember walking by like Zellers or Kmart as a kid and seeing this. I never had quarters to play, but it was wicked just to watch it. I was amazed at how cool that was. And of course, we'd all go to an arcade and just pretend like we're playing. Okay, somebody said ice hockey. If I can find NES ice hockey, that's the one I want to try. Okay, did I have that on this list somewhere? If this is the one I think, you can make different size people, you know, because that triggers people, right, when people are different sizes. Okay, here we go. Start, probably this one. A uh, choice as well. I do live in Canada, so I'm going to have to stick with Canada. Speed. Uh, that's good. Computer. Sure. South of my border, we can be friends here. All right, team. How do I change these? Oh, I remember this. We used to call these the Gretzky because he was really skinny and a little guy at the time. And then we just called him the fat guy. Will you put something... Put templates of this build like your bar tops. Yes. So once I have this build done and kind of finalized, I am going to put up uh, AutoCAD plans as well as just pictures of my hand-drawn plans. I drew most of this thing just in my head. I drew it all on AutoCAD first, and then I 
kind of started just drawing on paper. So my plans for it, I'm pretty much going to go and measure. I'll show you my template that I made for this. I'm going to measure this out as exact as I can. Everything that I used to figure out measurements. My angles, all sorts of stuff. I will make that available for anybody who wants it. Um, the wood, or in this case MDF for this one, I think I paid $50 a sheet and I needed three sheets. If you're looking for just something a little bit with more depth, um, then make it bigger. It just means you got to buy more plywood. Uh, I made this so that I can get both sides of my arcade out of one sheet of plywood. And the other two were needed uh, to get all the panel pieces because of how big they were. But yes, I will put all the plans online for that. All right, let's go back to this thing. Ice hockey, sure. I'm just going to press play because let's just play games. How do I press buttons here? Select, no, arrow keys, oh, here we go. I'm gonna play this one-handed. You guys are gonna be so impressed. Oh, there's some buttons. All right, no, quick, tripod time. All right, I think I'm the green team. All right, so the, the big guys, oh, icing. There's actually rules in this. Crank that volume. Can you fight people in this? I don't think I've even figured out how to pass the puck yet. Oh, to the wrong player, I can. No, wrong way! Wrong person. There we go. I, I remember playing this as a kid probably hours and hours in my buddy's basement. Good time. Oh! It's worth a try. Clearly I don't play enough. Exit this. Okay. I miss my family. I want to leave work. Please leave any comments or questions for me. Uh, feel free to leave comments on any other video. I do my best to answer 99% of questions as long as you don't sound stupid. If you can't spell, well, the only excuse you have is if you can't speak my language. I'm sorry, I only speak one language. I'm not really that educated when it comes to anything else. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. All nine people. Thank goodness. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.